Welcome to I Know What You Did Last Shift, where we show everyone why police are the standing army our founding fathers warned us against. Today's video takes us to Uvalde, Texas. Last year, on May 24, 2022, a mass shooting occurred at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, where 18-year-old Salvador Ramos, a former student at the school, fatally shot 19 students and two teachers, while 17 others were injured but survived. Almost 400 officers from several local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies responded to Robb Elementary on May 24, 2022, but they did not immediately confront the gunman, who was in two conjoined classrooms filled with 33 students and three teachers. After initially being driven back by gunfire, the law enforcement officers waited more than an hour for a Border Patrol tactical team to arrive and breach the classrooms, despite nationwide active shooter protocols that call on officers to stop an attacker as soon as possible. Investigations and video from inside the school have revealed that the 376 law enforcement officers present that day missed several opportunities to stop the gunman in the midst of unclear communication and leadership. Another frustrated state trooper urged officers to enter, but was told by a police officer that they had not received those orders. Some officers at the scene seemed to believe that P. Arredondo, the police chief of Uvalde School District, was in charge, although at one point he directed officers to evacuate other classrooms. Arredondo has said he did not think he was the incident commander leading the law enforcement response. Arredondo also left the police radio behind, limiting his communication with officers. DPS, which completed an internal investigation into its officer's response, said in February that it would fire two troopers. This did not include the trooper hired and fired by the district, who resigned before the investigation concluded. Texas State Trooper Crimson Elizondo was fired after the Uvalde shooting for misconduct. Elizondo was one of the first Texas Department of Public Safety officials to enter the hallway at Robb Elementary School after the shooter gained entry. The trooper did not bring her rifle or vest into the school. As a result of potential failure to follow standard procedures, the trooper was among seven DPS personnel whose conduct is now being investigated by the agency's inspector general. The seven have been suspended. However, by Elizondo resigning from DPS to work for the Uvalde schools, she is no longer subject to any internal discipline or penalties. Her conduct, if found to be in violation of law or policy, will be included in the final report from the Department of Public Safety Inspector General. However, Elizondo was hired by the Uvalde School District despite being under investigation for her conduct during the school massacre. While with the Texas Department of Public Safety or Texas State Police, the decision to hire Elizondo drew outrage from parents of victims of the May 24 school shooting that killed 21 people, including 19 elementary school students. Kimberly Rubio, whose daughter Lexi was killed at Robb Elementary, said the district was right to fire Elizondo, but said she shouldn't have been hired in the first place. I don't understand why she herself would apply for this job, and I also don't understand why the school district would hire her, said Kimberly Rubio, mother of Alexi, who died in the massacre. In October 2022, Elizondo, who was hired by the Uvalde School District despite being under investigation for her conduct during the school massacre while with the Texas Department of Public Safety, had now been fired. Time for final thoughts. Now, this is obviously insane and ridiculous how law enforcement is the career where you can make a million mistakes and still be in good standing. The fact the former trooper can be so negligent and let kids die, be so careless to just apply to as a school officer, when that same year, she had blood on her hands. And on top of that, you can't even make this up. The police chief didn't think that he was in charge, so nobody knows who's in charge. This is how stupid cops are. They're just order followers. They just do what they're told. They don't know their job. They don't know nothing. Along with the many other police officers who stood by and had a water break when active murder is occurring, it's just mind boggling. Let me know what you think about the entire situation. If you have a video of your own, you want covered. Video submit form is in description and pinned comments as well. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.